What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alicia and today we're hopping right into the video. Um, I'm just going to be pretty much showing you guys how I refresh my curls. This is after four or five days of my wash and go and obviously it looks very dry. It needs some help, some moisture, um, but you can see there's a little bit of definition in there still. So it's worth saving on this one. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do that. So first I'm going to start by sectioning my hair so you can just see that I'm splitting it um, in half and then I'm going to split the other section into half. That way it makes three sections. Now when I'm refreshing my curls I do not make small sections when I first like do my fresh wash and go. Um, so I'm pretty much just doing it in bigger sections but it's still going to be able to distribute the products and everything. So I'm starting off with uh, warm to like hot water. Um, I kind of make it really hot just because it kind of cools off by the time I, I'm finished. And I'm just putting this all throughout my hair just to loosen up the product and kind of like reactivate it in a way um, from the product that's already in there. First product I'm going in with is the Crema Nature Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner. This is a spray conditioner, so I just want to add extra moisture to it as much as I can and I'm starting with that first back section. Like any other product, I'm just going to distribute this through my hair and then I'm going to go in with my leave-in conditioner from the Suave Naturals line. Y'all know I love this line. I'm starting off with about this much at first and distributing this throughout my hair as well. The last product that I'm going to go in is with my Wetline Extreme Gel. Uh, this one I was running out of, so I had to kind of use the other one that I just bought. But I'm just going to take smaller sections throughout this one section and just distribute the gel on there. Then I kind of go in with my hot water and kind of reactivate it. And you can see how like defined my curls are starting to get as well. So after I add those three products, this is what my hair looks like. You can already see it looks way better. My hair is not completely like soaking wet, which is really nice. And it kind of helps with the dry time. So I'm pretty much just going to do that same process all over my head throughout the sections and just keep watching. So when I get to this front part, I kind of just take like a towel and I'm just going to wipe off where my edges are just because I do lay my edges and I use extra product right there and I find that it builds up uh, quicker than the rest of my hair. So I'm just kind of taking a dry towel and just kind of gently wiping some of that product off. That way it can be clean and it can be fresh again and then I'm going right back into the same process. All right, y'all, so just a little tip. Uh, when I get to the front of my hair, I like it to be extra defined. So I'm going to make sure to kind of like take smaller sections and shingle my hair. I have a whole video on how I do this in the entire process. Um, I'll make sure to either leave a card up above or I'll leave um, the link in the description bar. But yeah, I just make sure to shingle the front of my hair just because I want it to be extra defined. That's the part that everybody sees, honestly, so... And then I'm just going to take some of that wet line extreme gel and just put it on my edges a little bit um, on the side that is done and just do those really quick. Just 
just so you guys know I will be having a video uploaded after this one in a couple days it's basically gonna be just a week in my natural hair that way you guys can see how I maintain my hair all throughout the week and see the raw footage of what it's looking like because obviously you guys always see the end goal um, and I want you guys to just see how I maintain and take care of my hair in order for it to grow as well So this is pretty much what my hair looks like um, when it's still wet and it's not even um, completely dry. So I'm just going to go in with the grapeseed oil. This is from olive oil I believe and it's just a spray. It's a heat protectant and it's supposed to add shine. I use it more uh, just for shine. Um, but I am going to go in with my blow dryer. I couldn't find my diffuser attachment. Um, so I just went in with my blow dryer on low speed, uh, medium heat, I believe. And I was just really careful because I didn't want to create a whole bunch of frizz. So that's why you kind of see me being really gentle and like holding my curls kind of still and not trying to have them fly all over my head. So yeah, I'm just going to do that during the entire drying process. Once my hair is already dry, I'm going to go ahead and start my stretching process. I have a video on this, of course. Uh, pretty much all of this, y'all, I have videos on, detailed videos that are super easy. Like, my process does not take a long time at all. Um, so you guys can just get a good idea of what I do for that. Um, but after I pretty much finish stretching, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite oils. This is the biotin and collagen one. This is from the brand OGX. They're super affordable. They work really good. And this product smells super good as well. And I'm just going to make sure to run this through my hair before I start picking. Like I said, I have a whole video on this. Uh, it'll be like a card up above or something. I always leave my cards up above. Um, so yeah, make sure to check that out. Alright y'all, so I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and wrap this video up and finish doing my edges with that wet line extreme gel. Um, so after I've done that, you guys are going to go ahead and pretty much see the results of my hair. Um, you're going to see that I have tons of volume in my hair, um, the definition, and the more days go on, the bigger my hair is going to be. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.